Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to master spray control in Valorant. So as you know, compared to Counter-Strike, tapping and bursting is the preferred method in Valorant. Uh, however, that doesn't mean that spraying is, isn't a useful skill to have, especially if you wanna hit clips like this. No! Oh, that was such a nice spray, dude. Shots. She's got knives close. Ooh, you guys like that little spray transfer though? Who am I? I kill to B. One enemy remaining. Nice guys, yeah, well played. Last player standing. One so uh, let's start. So most of these exercises you can actually do inside of the range. So I recommend you hop inside of the range. And if you're completely new to spraying and you have no idea how to spray a gun, you just want to hop into the range, uh, find a wall, stand like, I don't know, a medium range from it, and pick the gun you want to start out with, I would recommend uh, either the Phantom or the Vandal. And you just want to aim at the wall and hold down left click without trying to control your spray at all. So there we go. Uh, and now we just look at the spray pattern. So with the Vandal, it goes up to the left and then to the right. And now to counteract this movement, we are going to basically, we're going to do the opposite of what just happened. So we're going to go down to the right and then to the left. And so we're just going to practice on this wall doing the opposite movement. So down to the right and then to the left. And then, so you just want to get comfortable with this movement. Just do this a couple times until you feel like you have the spray pattern down. And once you're comfortable, so let's say once I'm comfortable with the Vandal, I'm going to switch over to the Phantom and we're going to do the exact same thing. So. We're going to spray it at a wall here. And Phantom is very similar to the Vandal, so we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to try to counteract this movement. There you go. And we're just going to keep doing this until we get comfortable with it. So once your spray pattern is looking pretty tight, you can move on to the next step. So if you don't want to actually do it against the wall, another thing you can use is this area of the shooting range. Just set it to like maybe 20 meters uh, or 10 if you're just starting out, whatever range you want, and then just practice spraying and try and get all of your bullets uh, inside either this inner ring or the second inner ring. Right, just keep it, try and keep it as tight as possible um, and do it all standing up and then you can incorporate crouching into it as well if you would like. So you can either do it fully standing or just crouch with it, uh, just get practice in for both, like that. And once you are pretty comfortable with the spray pattern, we're going to move on to actually uh, how to trace spray transfer. So for spray transfer, what I like to do is I like to spawn in a couple bots. And the thing with spray transfers is, let me show you on a wall first. Once you're done spraying down the first guy, eventually you'll have to stop compensating for vertical recoil. So once you're done compensating for vertical recoil, let's say like, I don't know how many bullets exactly it is, maybe the first six or seven bullets. Uh, once you're done compensating for vertical recoil, you pretty much only move your mouse side to side, right? So about right here, I'm not moving my mouse down anymore. It's just side to side movement to compensate for the uh, horizontal recoil. So I move down and then about around right here, I stop moving my mouse down. It's just left and right. So when you're doing spray transfers, you want to basically it's really hard to explain in terms of like crosshair placement. There's no exact crosshair placement because it depends on the range uh, of you to like your enemy, but it's more of like a feeling. So once you feel that you're done spraying that vertical movement, by this point, you usually kill that first guy. And if you're trying to do a spray transfer, you don't move your mouse down anymore. You only move it to the left and right. So let's say I want, I'm shooting a guy here and I want to spray transfer here. So I'd be shooting this guy and then I would flick it to the left 
but I, I'm not pulling down at all. I'm only keeping that side to side movement after the first initial vertical recoil. So vertical recoil is done. And let's say I want to shoot at the guy on the left. I flick it over, but I don't pull down anymore. So you can see my crosshair uh, horizontally moves like this, and it doesn't move vertically at all after that first initial spray. So you can't really judge this on crosshair placement, like I said, because it depends on the distance you are from people. Um, it's more of like a feeling. So that's why I say before you start trying to spray transfer people, just get comfortable with spraying in general. So once you get comfortable with keeping that tight pattern and like knowing when to stop pulling down, then you can kind of like spray transfer based on feeling. So, right. You see how those are all headshots? Because I'm not moving up and down. I'm just controlling that left and right recoil. So I kill this guy, and then I know from here that I can just move my crosshair left and right. Like, I don't have to move it down anymore. And that's basically just how you spray transfer. So the next exercise that I highly recommend you do is actually to just hop inside of a deathmatch. And inside of the deathmatch, you know, don't deathmatch like normal where you're going like this and you're like bursting and tapping people. You want to be only spraying. So like go into a deathmatch. If you're trying to train spray control and spray transfers, don't play the deathmatch normally basically is what I'm trying to say. Go into a deathmatch and only spray. So it doesn't matter how far someone is away from you. It doesn't matter the distance they are. Just spray them no matter what. So like that guy right there, I spray. And then if you see anyone else immediately, try and spray transfer them. So... Don't let go of your firing wheel or firing button. Like don't let go of mouse one. Just like shoot and then like try and find someone to spray transfer to. You know, most of the time you won't be able to find anybody. But that doesn't even matter. You can just imagine someone there. So like if I spray this guy down, I imagine some guy right there and you see like, someone actually popped up. But you can imagine like enemies like that and then you just spray transfer them. And this will really help with training your spray transfers. So I spray this guy down, just one like 180 over to sewer and keep spraying, keep the spray going. And if you do this a couple times, like every day, and you keep training your spray control like this, like you will get better at spray, at spray transfers. Like there's no way you won't get better at spray transfers. So again, I kill this guy and then I spray transfer. Just keep holding your spray. And pretend like pretend like you like you're in the range and you were doing like against the bots. Basically, do that same thing, but in deathmatch. And then feel free to like switch over to the phantom as well. Like you don't only have to do it with the vandal. Um, you can do this with any gun. Like Spectre, you can do it with as well. Basically, any gun you want to train your spray control with, you can do this technique with. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That's my routine and that's kind of how I would recommend you kind of train your spray control and your spray transfers. And if you just do these things, like you go into the range and you practice spraying, um, keeping your patterns tight, and then you practice on the bot spray transferring and then you hop into a deathmatch and you only spray, like you will get better at spray control. So that's basically how you do it. I hope this video helped you guys out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.